The Greater Essex County District School Board knows how important early childhood education is for you and your child. Our experience tells us the first day of school is as important of an event for the parent as it is for the child. After all, most of our staff are parents as well. Much like how Welcome to Kindergarten was produced to inform your child of what a typical day in school will be like, this portion of the DVD is to give the parents a glimpse of what our staff and school system are all about and how you can assist your child with their learning from home. Here in Greater Essex County District School Board, we are really uh, pleased with our kindergarten programs and one of the things that we do is we conduct research to make sure that what we say we are doing in our kindergarten classrooms is actually happening in our kindergarten classrooms. We're very much um, focused on a play-based inquiry learning model where we're following the lead of the student, what they're interested in learning about, building on their strengths and interests, um, communicating with the parents what it is that we're doing. We think all of those things are so important in finding um, the best learning path for each and every student in our board. I support each child's learning by trying to be their guide, um, allowing them the, the freedom to explore the room and interact with their peers, but also trying to extend their learning and pose questions that will make them think more, um, present challenges to them, so I act as a guide in the room. I think you have to look at each child individually. Um, everybody learns differently and um, you have to be able to represent them, be able to meet their needs. Um, but knowing each one individually is very, very important. By looking at where they're coming from, like what skills they bring with them to school, and then trying to expand that and uh, grow their, their skill-based knowledge in that area. Well, our classroom is a play-based program, so in our classroom we have a variety of learning centers that try to meet the needs of every child. We believe in learning through the arts, learning through movement, learning through reading and writing and math, and so by having all of those different activities out in the classroom, we're really trying to capitalize on every child's strengths and interests and then meet their needs through that learning as well. It's supporting student learning is it's threefold really. I support student learning by number one, supporting the students themselves in creating an environment that's safe and orderly in school. Number two, I support the teachers through their learning exercises and their self-evaluation that they go through. And I also support families within my community. I'm a special education coordinator, which means I'm assigned a family of schools and within those schools I'm responsible to coordinate the services for children with special needs. I think that all parents are apprehensive and especially parents who have a child with special needs wondering is my child going to be cared for, are they going to be accepted by their other peers. So we have a very formalized transition plan and process that has been with the board for a number of years that we have found very successful. So the parent is going to, before the child comes to school, meet all of the players. So they'll be well versed with their education coordinator, they'll have met their principal, they will have met the teacher, they will be able to tell the teacher their concerns and the teacher as well as the team will problem solve around issues that the parents may be concerned about to facilitate a successful entry to school for your child. We do um, daily reading every day. Uh, we make it a fun activity. We sit down together at night, just before bed, and we choose some books and we read them together. We look at words, uh, we talk about the calendar, we talk about things in math, like th how much things cost, we look at money. Uh, we do a lot of things outdoors, looking at scientific things, looking at leaves, looking at weather, that sort of thing. So I try and follow up with whatever's going on in the classroom and follow it up with things at home. Uh, we try to make it, yeah, we try to put it uh, in a nice way so that she, even in games, she gets to study. Uh, daily, she gets a book to read, gets a book of her choice. We read it together, that's our time together. I've read to my son from the day he was born, basically. Um, he and I, we like to enact and make plays with puppets. Uh, we'll communicate with one another and uh, I always ask him, how is your day at the office when I'm talking about school? You know, I always encourage him, you know, to go to the library here and bring some books home so we can read together. Even if I don't speak the language, I can still have the internet support. We go to the library every Tuesday. Uh, they teach me sometimes. 
You know, they say, Mom, this is how we say it in this language, that's how we say it in this language. When they get home, I go through the backpack, I try to coax out of them what they did for the day, which can be hard and confusing considering some of it's in French. Um, but I focus on the things that I can help them with because they're so young. We focus on their writing. I think the number one, th the most important thing with uh, young children is just to, to um, develop that sense, that joy of learning because uh, we have to maintain, we have to be learners throughout our entire life. It's very important that they, they get a fresh start in, in JK being a learner and uh, each and every day at home, that's what we need to stress with students. They need to be learners. Read, read, read. Um, once the children leave at 3 or 3.30, don't let it end there. Um, if we can provide some learning tools such as books that the parents can read with their kids or um, maybe math manip manipulatives, anything of that sort, the teaching does not end at the end of the day. I really advise uh, parents and encourage parents to continue that at home with their children. Read to them every single night, 15 to 20 minutes a night is all they really need. I believe that um, talking to the teachers, talking to the principal, because parents are the first and more, most important teachers of the children and um, they're partners in, in their child's education. Um, I believe that it is um, extremely important to talk to your child each day and ask them about their day. Um, a lot of parents say, um, Would, how was your day? And, or what did you do today? And their aunt, the, ch the child's answer is usually, nothing, I don't know. So parents have to be a little more specific. What did you play in the gym today? Um, talk to them about their day and find out what, uh, what went on because there's something, like I said before, there's something new each day. I think the students need, well the students need to know their parents are interested in what they're doing and also to foster that sense of community, teacher, parent, administrative uh, cooperation and communication is very vital. Uh, you know, we all are on the same page, we are talking about the issues, we come up with ideas. Well, um, I have two children and I have a 10 year old son with my 5 year old daughter and we do continuing education at home with both of them and she sits and watches what I do with him and catches on to a lot of the stuff that he's doing at a grade five level. So if parents don't keep up with the practice at home and the kids just come to school and, and don't have that continuing education, it's almost like they drop it at the end of the day and then come and return to school and have to learn again. Whereas at home, it's very important to keep them rolling on their education. Absolutely. If parents, uh, we want children to value school, we need for parents to instill that love of learning with the, with the children. So in order for parents to be able to do that, they need to have an understanding of what the children are doing at school and why it's so very important. Again, bringing it back around to that um, ability to develop as a functioning member of society. I think the kids need to know that it's important that parents and teachers are in collaboration, that they're partners. I think that if, as parents, we give our child the idea that school doesn't matter, they, they actually will show that themselves, they'll demonstrate that behavior. So for me, if she knows that I'm on the same page with the teachers, then she'll work harder, she'll focus harder, and I think that it makes it important. It makes things go more smoothly because there is a, that partnership there. They look up to adults, especially their moms and dads, so if they see that mom and dad um, find that this is something important that they need to do and they see mom and dad doing it with their siblings, um, you're kind of, they kind of follow through, they watch you, you're, you are the one that they, they look up to. Um, they look up to their teachers too, but if mom and dad are doing it at home, they see that this is something normal and this is something that mom and dad do um, and it's important. Uh, so they set the pace, mom and dad. Everybody is there to work together with the best needs of the student in mind, that we're all there working together as a team, parents, students, teachers, administrators, support staff, and to make sure that you have those open lines of communication with the school, to stay in touch with the principals, to stay in touch with the teachers, so that you know what's going on in your child's education all the way from kindergarten all the way to grade 12.